So tonight I watched a film on Netflix that I missed last year. It was a 2015 release, and it but it only played in Los Angeles for a weekend. Uh, and so I missed it. It was at the Downtown Independent because it was distributed by Array, which is Ava DuVernay's distribution company. Um, it was one of the first films since they switched from Afrim to Array as the name of the company. It is a film from South Africa, directed by Sarah Belletcher and written by Tricia Malone. It's about a... Oh, the film's title might be nice, huh? It's called Ayanda or Ayanda and the Mechanic, depending on what you read. Um, both names, I think, work for the film. It's about a woman named Ayanda who is trying her best to keep her father's garage open. Her father has died eight years prior to the film starting. And her father's business partner and her mother are trying to convince her to sell the garage um, for reasons unbeknownst to her. Uh, at the same time, she's sort of romancing one of the mechanics at the garage because that's what happens when you have close quarters with hot dudes. Um, and then that's the main plot. And then there's a subplot with a street photographer documentarian man who's going around talking to all of the people in the neighborhood because it's a very diverse neighborhood filled with um, immigrant African people from various nations from various countries in the continent and they've all come to this one part of South Africa and he's talking to them all about both the differences and the uh, things they have in common with each other to sort of get an idea of new Africa and so that sort of layer is in there um, both as the you know like sub subplot but also within Ayanda's um, journey as a person and uh, I had one more thing I was going to say about that the two plots together and now I can't remember what it was oh god um so it's set in like urban urban Africa to show you sort of like what the cities are like as opposed to um you know the bush or in terms of the kind of films from Africa that America tends to see we usually get like white people's Africa uh post-colonial Africa or people in the bush Africa and this is sort of um a, a western view of like just just another girl in the city kind of Africa, you know. Um, so for that, I thought, I thought it was very interesting. It says it's in English, but there was definitely, like, some language spoken that was not English that I'm not sure what it was. Um, or they would, like, mix, you know, words in with the English, which made me very grateful for the closed captioning on Netflix because I was like, what are they saying? Oh, God. Um the woman who plays Ayanda, her name is uh, Fulu, Mo Fulu Moguvani. She was wonderful. She had an amazing screen presence, beautiful smile, very tough, um, no nonsense kind of kind of actress. Really, really enjoyed watching watching her um, and her like all the style in this film is it was very like bright colors and interesting patterns and I always love that um I'm a big fan of bright colors and, and patterns and um and so her her scheme for keeping the garage open is to start fixing up old cars so you could see all these like really beautiful um vintage cars at the same time which is always nice but in like bright jewel tones oh it's fantastic uh, I really enjoyed this film so it just went on Netflix today I believe so um you should check it out. It's listed on Netflix as Ayanda and the Mechanic. Um, but everywhere else on the internet is Ayanda. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's Again, it's directed by Sarah Bletcher and written by Trisha Malone. And it's quite wonderful. And I look forward to more films released through Array. There's a few. There's another one. There's two more on Netflix that I need to check out. One is Tina Mabry's Mississippi Damned which came out a few years ago, but uh, hit the festivals a few years ago, never got distribution, and then now is on Netflix. And then another one that she acquired last year called Out of My Hand, which premiered at the Berlin Film Festival and then 
had distribution through Array and now is on Netflix, and I look forward to watching that one. So, um, again, this was Ayanda or Ayanda and the Mechanics from, or, and the Mechanic from 2015, and I recommend you watch it on Netflix.